Ambassador Saeed Akbaruddin, great to see you again on screen, sir. Thanks for giving us some time. Uh, thank you very much, Amitabh, for uh, providing me this opportunity to interact through you to your growing number of viewers. Again, you just come back from Caracas, from Venezuela, after the non-aligned movement ministerial meet. To Pakistan made another attempt, or the representative made another attempt at raising the Jammu and Kashmir issue. It was not only snubbed by you in your statement, but also because of the charter of the NAM, none of the other countries picked it up as well. Um, you know, Amitabh, uh, as uh, uh, experienced diplomats, uh, we know how to handle these things. Um, if there are futile pursuits that some other representatives would like to indulge in, this is their choice to make. Um, we know how to handle these minor uh, issues which are raised. Uh, the NAM is a broad platform for global issues. Uh, it's not uh, something uh, that is conducive for individual pursuits. So as a country which works in partnership with many, many countries on a whole host of issues, we can handle uh, those who are one trick ponies who try and repeat their trick uh, every time uh, in a futile effort. And as experienced diplomats, again, do you, in your, your opinion, think that it's uh, been handled what uh, Donald Trump said in uh, meeting with Imran Khan on the press of Pakistan publicly uh, before they actually met in a private? And India then, in Parliament, uh, the External Affairs Minister, Jay Shankar, uh, clearly saying that there was no attempt at all being made by the Prime Minister in the past uh, to bring up uh, mediation on Jammu and Kashmir. Um, again, um, uh, I have seen only what uh, you have seen on uh, video screens. So uh, if I could say this is uh, way above my pay grade, uh, these issues uh, that are raised by two leaders uh, of uh, different countries. But that said, I do not uh, think that there is any conceivable situation uh, where what was said uh, could be what was the actual situation. Uh, because uh, uh, I have grown up as an Indian diplomat, uh, worked uh, with very many peoples, and there is no conceivable situation where an Indian diplomat, let alone an Indian leader, would have said what is being uh, attributed. So I have no doubts in my mind on uh, our uh, views. This, these are views which have been expressed many, many times and have been reiterated by our external affairs ministers in parliament, which we hold sacrosanct. Again, you're saying this is way above your pay grade, but again, you, the mission and the team would be prepared for Pakistan bringing up in any kind of fora in the United Nations also. Uh, I think we need to separate two issues. Uh, bringing up is a choice that is exercised by any country. They are allocated a time. Uh, they can bring up anything that they want to bring up. That said, uh, what I am... Uh, uh, focusing on is that there is no resonance for such issues. India today is a player on multiple issues in the United Nations, and these are global issues. So uh, the next UN General Assembly session is a session which is focused on multiplicity of issues, for example, relating to climate change, financing for development, universal health care, um, uh, uh, problems of small states, um, all these, we have a view, we have partnerships where we are working on with many, many countries. Uh, in this uh, broad uh, uh, palette, the issues of a single country in pursuit of a solo goal have no resonance. So, so I'm quite confident this is not an issue that we need to uh, focus on at all. We have many bigger fish to fry than what is being uh, pushed by one solo delegation in pursuit of an issue which has no resonance elsewhere.
But you're saying no resonance in uh, with other countries. Now you were pointing out the UN General Assembly, and we're expecting the Prime Minister to be there. Of course, there will be preparations that you're already making for that. And again, just to reiterate, even if you're saying it's Pakistan's focus, undoubtedly, since the Prime Minister, as I said, is expected to be at the UNGA, Pakistan will raise uh, this issue of uh, mediation of what uh, President Trump said. Uh, I have no insights into what they will do, um, but um, uh, we know how to handle every situation that comes up here. Uh, we are focused on a very broad range of issues as behoves a country of our interest, uh, not a, a single issue which has no in, uh, resonance elsewhere. Uh, ours are uh, a multifaceted approach to the UN as a global platform, and in global platform, we work in partnership with diverse array of countries, developing, developed, um, small, big, and that's our forte. And you will see that play out in the General Assembly uh, when uh, this happens later uh, in September. But we have still some space to travel between now and then. So we're just in the planning stage. Uh, let's allow these things to play out in the normal course. Ambassador Agpurudin, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much, Amitabh.